Hello everyone, welcome to Joe's Sports and More. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Windows 8 for the HP Pavilion DV7-428 5DX Entertainment PC. So, I don't know about y'all, but I was kind of excited about the um, Windows 8 release on October 26, Friday. And I was really looking forward to it. So the night before, I got all my data together on my computer and copied it to my portable hard drive, which I definitely recommend you do before you do any type of um, software installation because, you know, if you lose it, you can't get it back. <clears throat> but anyway, so I did that, and then I got on with uh, Geek Squad online because I have a account with them and I got one of the guys to remote into my computer and check and make sure that I would be able to upgrade to Windows 8 because I didn't want to go out and get Windows 8 and then find out that I'm not able to update it'd be pointless and a waste of money <clears throat> so after doing that the guy got on there checked and everything he said that my laptop well exceeds the required um, the requirements for Windows 8 upgrade and he said that it should be a easy install no problems at all so I'm like alright cool next day comes I get Windows 8 I get it home I put in the 64 bit disk because that's what the disk you're supposed to use for this computer do the install and the first time I did the install I kinda had a little bit of a problem because of Kaspersky um, antivirus so I had to d uninstall that and then I did it again and everything worked out better that time well so I thought after that happened uh, Windows 8 you know did its thing and then the screen comes on and you see the little windows with the little circles you know like it's about to come up like it's loading and what do you know my screen goes black and I'm like what the heck is going on here it went black as if I had turned off my computer but I heard that I heard my laptop still making noises it was still on I saw the light was still on everything I'm like okay this is weird and all of a sudden it did the Windows uh, noise that it makes when Windows starts up so then finally my um, screen came on and I was able to get on so then I got up with um, Geek Squad because I was like okay I'm not I'm having problems with this and come to find out it's with the uh, video card so the guy went and he got on my computer remoted into my computer and he went and downgraded my uh, video graphics card and then after he got done with that you know everything was supposed to be fine it seemed like it was fine but after we got done with the session and I was done everything I, I went to do a snap screen <clears throat> you know like with Windows 7 and Windows 8 you can do it too I had one window up and then I went to go do the snap on the other side and my mouse and the the window I was trying to snap went off my screen so I was like, okay this is weird so then I still had the problem and I was like okay I'm just gonna have to take this on up to Best Buy so Friday night I take my computer up to Best Buy and I had to leave it with them with the Geek Squad. Well, <laughs> I call up there Saturday afternoon to find out what's going on and they said they're still working on the problem, you know, and, and then they call me back later Saturday afternoon and ask me or later Saturday evening and ask me if they could do a restart. That something happened and they need to do a system restart. I was like, Yeah man, it's fine, you know, I've got all my information off of it, got all my data saved and everything. <laughs> I was like, Okay, that's cool. So they did that. Make a long story short, uh, they had my computer from Friday night, the release date of Windows 8, until um, Halloween. Because finally I was just like, okay, let's just revert it back to Windows 7 and I'll figure out what's going on and try to get up with HP or whoever I need to to find out what's going on. So then I get home and I Google it and I found this... Um, where someone else had the same problem and I'm gonna down the bottom I'm gonna put the website that you can go to because what I'm hoping will happen that with 
the help of you viewers, I can have enough views on this to where the, it like shows HP that this is something they need to take care of because it's with the driver uh, for the graphics card and uh, people have responded to this website here where they've had problems and so I'm hoping that you know as soon as possible HP will get this fixed so that those of us who are looking forward to enjoying the new Windows 8 can enjoy it without having problems since our computers will surpass the requirements and I mean you know this laptop here is was bought in July of 2011 so it's not an old laptop it's it's maybe a little over a year but that's not too old to have to be worrying about not being able to upgrade so I'm hoping like I said with the help of you viewers that we can get enough views to get HP on the ball with this so if you would help me out go down below check out this website here and anybody else having problems with this like definitely reply and um, you know get the word out there to HP so that way we can get this problem fixed and we can enjoy Windows 8 so thanks for watching if I bored you I'm sorry like I said mainly this video is to get attention to HP so they will get on the ball with this so thanks again and I hope you have a great weekend